Hello and welcome to the 11th tutorial in the series. Today we're going to learn how to add these two pillows here to our bed and add this cloth so we get a more homey feeling to the room. Alright, so let's start with a thing that I wanted to fix from the previous tutorial. Uh, after I rendered the results, I've seen that uh, there is not enough occlusion in the pillows and sheet, uh, so I'm going to add the Vira Dirt modifier or Vira Dirt material just as I added it to the carpet. So we have more pronounced lines and separations and creases. The way I'm going to do this is exactly the same way I did it in the uh, Vira carpet, uh, Vira hair carpet tutorial. So, if you haven't seen that one, just click on that uh, tutorial first, see that, and come back here. Alright, so I'm going to take the material of our sheet and uh, pillows. I'm going to change the V-Ray material to V-Ray blend material. Keep old material as sub-material. I'm going to copy our material to the first slot in the copy option. I'm going to change the name to occluded because this is going to be our occluded material, the darker one. I'm going to make it darker, like so, and this one, like so. Maybe this one a little bit more dark, like this. Alright, so, next thing I'm going to do is to change the blend amount using the very dirt material as I taught you in the very carpet material it's a very carpet tutorial so I'm going to add in this slot the very dirt material I'm going to change the white to black and vice versa so that uh, the occluded areas will be affected and the unoccluded areas will not I'm going to change the subdivision to 32 so we don't have a dotty result more clear result with a higher subdivision a little bit more render time but it's worth it and now let's try rendering the area and see if it's better than the rendering from previous tutorial I'm going to render only the bed sheet and pillows like so this is the previous render. Let's see if we have better results here. Okay, as you can see, we have a better pronounced occluded areas, better pronounced uh, separations between the pillow and the sheet and better pronounce creases so the result here is better and we did a good job next thing we're going to do is create the pillows on top of the bed these ones That's fine. In order to create these pillows, I'm going to use the same technique I used for the first two, but I'm going to apply a little more pressure because these pillows are fuller. Uh, I'm going to create a box that will be our pillow. Place it over here. And front view I'm going to place it on top of the pillows and the height will be less than this I'm going to rotate it so it falls in this angle something like 45 degrees on top of the pillow in the bed like so a little bit higher and I'm going to go to the perspective viewport and I'm going to copy this to our second pillow shift drag is copy alright next thing I'm going to do is add cloth modifier 
and the, the material, the mattress is a, a group, I need to open it because I need to use the sheet as a, a collision object for cloth simulation. So I'm going to open the group, I'm going to go, to go to the cloth I just created here, object properties, first thing before that I'm going to change the name to pillow 3 and pillow 4. And now in the object properties I can see that this is the pillow. I'm going to add the pillow 4 I just created. And I'm going to add also the sheet and pillow 1 and pillow 2 to be the collision objects that these boxes will collide with and create our pillows. So pillow 3 and pillow 4 will be cloth and pillow 1, 2 and sheet will be collision objects. Cloth, cloth, collision, collision, collision. Everything's fine. Next thing I'm going to do is to check uh, the steps are 0.002 so we have more steps. The lower this number the higher uh, the, the better the simulation will be but also the slower it will be. Also I need to check that self collision is on although it's not really necessary for our purposes but I like it to be always on and now we can simulate local I'm going to go a little bit closer so I can see the simulation and I'm going to simulate oh first thing I forgot in the object properties the pillow 3 and pillow 4 need to have pressure uh, same way these ones had pressure in order to puff and become pillows so I'm going to start with pressure of 35 maybe and now let's simulate local the pillow pressure is working They're falling in a good way. It's fine and stop the simulate local. Alright, so I'm going to go to the camera viewport and this is fine. We had two pillows here that were created using the cloth simulator. Uh, I'm going to delete the cloth simulator from the two pillows and from the collision objects. Now first thing I'm going to do is convert these to editable poly and then I'm going to go to the collision objects and delete the cloth modifier from them because we don't need it anymore. I'm going to close the group of the sheet and now I'm going to add this crease here. Same way I added it here. I'm just going to select one of the lines. I'm going to go closer. I'm going to select one of the lines, ring it, connect to create a line uh, like so. And I'm going to extrude. Let's go 0 and 0 and a little bit higher. I'm going to extrude inwards. Now let's try adding Turbo Smooth modifier to it. Uh, two iterations, and let's see how this looks in the camera viewport. This is fine. We have our line. Let's do the same thing for. No, it's too thick. We need a smaller line for this one. Let's try extruding, but not so much. like so turbo smooth turbo smooth okay this is better I'm going to do the same thing for this pillow add the lines the creases ring connect and extrude again zero and zero and make it a little bit more than zero like so and inwards 
not too much that's fine and let's add turbo smooth to it twice we have our line here alright so we have our two pillows I'm going to give him this color uh, the way I'm going to give him exactly this color is I'm going to take this material which we created for the mattress and sheets uh, and for the pillow and I'm going to copy it rename it to uh, it's not exactly red but let's call it red maybe purple but okay red red pillows I'm going to change the color here to in order to take the exact number of this color I'm going to add this photo I'm using here which we downloaded from the internet which you have in the links of the helper files for these tutorials uh, I'm going to use it as a texture and this is just so we can take the numbers of the color and use them so I'm going to go to my this one okay so I'm going to use this photo as a texture you have this photo inside uh, of the zip file which is uh, in the description below and now I'm going to view image and I can right click with a mouse and see the number of our uh, color so I'm going to check the number here it's 174 1889 174 1889 let's click it here 174 18 89 this is about the color of the pillow now I can delete clear this uh, uh, texture because I don't need it anymore I'm going to copy it here and I'm going to make this one a little bit darker so we have a uh, fall off for our pillow and this one a little bit brighter all right uh, we don't need to use the uh, very dirt for these pillows so I'm going to just take this material and sheet copy it and rename this to red pillow and this material we don't need so I'm just gonna copy a blank material on top of it now we have red pillow material I'm going to apply it to the pillows and the reason they are white here is because it gets the diffuse color in order to see in the viewport uh, the color the true uh, color of the pillows that will be shown in the rendering time you need to click on show shaded material in viewport after you do this you can see the real color of the pillows as you can see it's about the same color as the pillows uh, in our photo let's try rendering out the pillow area and see if everything is okay the color is fine you can see the occlusion here the black occlusion which separates the pillows from the bed this is because we use the very displacement uh, very dirt material and this is a great effect to add uh, saturation to the image and this is fine the pillows are a uh, good color and we can continue to the cloth on the bed right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to create this fabric that is on the bed as shown in the picture One second here 
there is a fabric that falls down on the bed itself we're going to create it in order to do this I'm going to go to the front viewport I'm going to create a line which represents my uh, clothing, piece of clothing or fabric that falls down on the bed so I'm going to create a couple of layers let's say a Z form like this something like this I'm going to make it a little bit wider like this oops I moved the walls okay now I'm going to place it somewhere here and over the bed somewhere here and I'm going to create a copy of it by shift dragging here now if I look at the top viewport we can see that the top part of our clothing is here it doesn't need to be over the bed because uh, it's it falls down on the bed itself so somewhere here maybe the bottom part needs to fall down from the bed a little bit like so so we're going to make it longer than the bed somewhere here and now we're going to connect the two parts to each other so I'm going to click attach attach this to this one cross section one two this creates lines that cross sec sect the two lines that uh, were created before in order to convert this to a form I need to add a modifier called surface this is our surface the steps I want zero steps because I don't want any polygons in the form only these polygons one two three four five when I add steps I add, essentially add polygons once I convert this to editable poly so zero is fine I want to add the polygons myself convert to edible poly you see there's a strange shading here and this is because we have a uh, smoothing groups in our form I don't like these shadings so I'm going to select all the polygons in my form go to the smoothing groups and clear all now I don't have smoothing groups in my form next thing I'm going to do is add segments so I'm going to select this segment or this edge and ring it connect it now and create a lot of segments something like a hundred like so now I'm going to select one, two, three on this side, ring, so that every uh, one will be selected on this axis, and I'm going to connect them. I'm going to connect them so that uh, there will be something like triangles here. Not triangles, uh, I'm sorry, squares here. Doesn't need to be perfect, but needs to look something like triangles, like squares Have to go to the top viewport and check this out maybe give it a value of 50 I can't see anything like this so I'm going to go to the perspective viewport and I'm going to see this less than 50 more, maybe 40 this is fine looks like squares and I'm going to add squares here here I'm going to create all these polygons in order for the simulation to work correctly I don't actually need them for uh, modeling all right this fine this is fine here and we have our piece of clothing so let's call it cloth now this piece of clothing needs to fall on the bed but if it just falls straight it will create uh, no creases in the fabric so I need to create something that will interrupt with the falling of this object on the bed I'm going to take it up a little bit and to the left and now I'm going to create an interruption uh, box like this I'm going to rotate it uh, at 50 degrees maybe even 45 and place it sorry and place it underneath 
so when this object falls down it intersects with this object and falls down uh, asymmetrically just a little bit to the left here and up all right so now I'm going to take it here make it higher until here it doesn't need to be the whole length of our cloth because uh, uh, if we, it's only until here the cloth will be affected differently in this part and in this part and it creates variations and that's always good in uh, cloth objects alright now I'm going to select this object this object has no uh, segments so I need to add segments to it because the simulation won't work correctly if I don't so something like 20 is fine and 20 here is fine too all right maybe a little bit more 30 here so it's kind of square that's fine now I need to use uh, this one to simulate the cloth this one to simulate the interruption this one to simulate the uh, collision and this one to simulate the collision also isolate selection this is a group so I'm going to open it and I'm going to select the mattress inside sheet mattress I'm going to select the mattress and hide it because we don't need it we need only the sheet on top of the mattress and I'm going to select the group itself and hide it also alright let's add a cloth modifier to this clothing cloth is cloth and bed base box is the helper object and the sheet are going to be collision objects so cloth is cloth base bed box and sheet collision objects everything's fine yes next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, lower the steps to 0 0.002 this is uh, good for uh, simulator more accurately when this number is uh, too high the simulation will go through things and polygons will go through each other and that's not good this uh, uh, essentially means the number of uh, s uh, seconds that uh, a step uh, that uh, the simulation takes to, to make one step in the simulation so if you have a higher number here the simulation will run uh, much faster and uh, it won't simulate accurately so 0.002 is good self collision needs to be on because if it's off the cloth will go through itself self collision on zero and now we can simulate local the cloth starts falling it might not work correctly from the first try, so we'll try a couple of times until it works correctly. Falls down, intersects with a helper object around here. starts bending as you can see <clears throat> now it will intersect with the bed
Alright, so now you can see that the layers I created it create seams and uh, creases here in the fabric and this creates more creases and it will fall down on itself which creates more details in the fabric once we turbo smooth this, this will look like uh, fabric and not uh, squares Okay, almost done. Seems about right. Let's pause this here and add a shell to it. Shell modifier adds thickness. One centimeter thickness is way too high, so let's make it 0.2, something like this, and add turbo smooth modifier with iterations of two. Now you can see you have a cloth on the bed that simulates some kind of piece of clothing that fell down on the bed or somebody put it here. I'm going to delete this helper. I'm going to delete the cloth modifier from the sheet and the bed base because we don't need it anymore. And I'm going to cut the turbo smooth. No, I'm going to cut the turbo smooth and shell. I'm holding control to select both of them cut them from the object and convert the object to editable poly and then paste them back. Now I have an editable poly with a shell and turbo smooth on top of it. Let's see this from our camera viewport. Uh, maybe a uh, second angle is better, maybe if we mirror this object and we see the other side it will look better, so I'm going to first of all our gizmo is up here, our pivot, we need to place it in the center of the object, so I'm going to effect pivot only, center to object. Now the pivot is down here. And I'm going to apply a mirror modifier to our piece of clothing. Alright, now you can see the creases better. Uh, something goes through, but it's not a problem, just push it down a little bit, like so, and that's fine. One last thing, there is something like a, a little mountain here, so we need to push it down. I'm going to go to mirror and turbo smoothed shell. I'm going to disable all of them. And I'm going to select this polygon up here. I'm going to go to soft selection. What this does is when you move one polygon, it moves the polygons near this one polygon according to the one you selected so the pinch is uh, the fall off is the amount of effect this polygon has on the cloth so the less fall off the less effect I'm going to take this down a little bit this down fine this is good and this one down and this one down Maybe rotate it a little bit like this. All right, and let's add all these back. See what we got. 
Nice. Now we don't have this mountain anymore. And we still have all the other creases in our fabric. There is a little bit of a bump here that drives me crazy, so I'm going to select it and push it down also. Second. Rotate it a little bit and push it down. Same thing here. Let's see now. Great. No mountains here. The cloth is on the bed. Everything is fine. I'm going to add for now the same material as the pillows. This one, the red pillow, to the a piece of clothing that we threw on the bed like in the picture but as you can see you have two colors here one is darker one is brighter and you also have these little hairs down here I'm going to add the, these in the next tutorial that I'm going to release uh, very soon or today or tomorrow I'm filming them back to back so keep tuned and this is it for this tutorial